Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today we are going to compare the new 2K floodlight cam from Arlo and the way older 1080p ring spotlight cam battery version. There's really no other floodlight cam that is battery powered aside from the Arlo Pro 3 floodlight that is in the market today. The closest that I can compare it to and also one of the earliest if not the first battery powered Wi-Fi camera that integrated an LED spotlight on the camera is the ring spotlight cam. The battery version. They released their wired or plugged in version first then their battery version about two and a half years ago. Initially, I really didn't like the Ring's battery powered spotlight cam and I still prefer their wired or plugged in version. Wired versions of spotlight or floodlight cams or any Wi-Fi cameras will always be better as to features especially in reliable motion detection. Most if not all wired Wi-Fi cameras will pre-record, meaning it will record a few seconds before it senses motion so you will get the whole motion event and most of the time before the motion or person gets into the frame of the camera. There were a lot of updates that Ring has made on their battery spotlight cam since it launched more than two years ago. One notable one is it now records in full color at night when the spotlights are on. They made more updates on their app and camera features like motion verification which reduces unwanted motion notifications and trims the recordings when motion has stopped and smart alerts that has person detection. I've been using this spotlight cam in my side yard for about a year now. It is mostly in standby mode and the battery life around 6 months with two batteries which is a feature that I like. One battery gets used first and you will get an email when the battery is almost drained and you can either let it be and the backup battery will kick in. Then you can remove the drained battery which it will be the one that has a blinking red LED. Charge it which takes about 6 to 8 hours and when you put it back in, this battery now will be the backup. No issues with this camera and it notifies me when cats and possums cross my fence line and when somebody comes in to check my utilities. So we will compare these two battery powered light cameras as to pricing, video and audio quality, motion alert notification speed, apps responsiveness and see if one of these Wi-Fi light cameras will find a place in your home or property. Let's start with pricing. The Arlo Pro 3 floodlight is a new release and it retails for $250 and probably will stay that way for a while. And as to the Ring Spotlight Cam battery version, it retails for $200. But Ring and Amazon usually puts these on sale occasionally and mostly during the holidays and you can save on these then. The Ring Spotlight Cam is 1080p Full HD and has a 140 degree horizontal field of view and records at 15 frames per second. The Arlo on the other hand is 2K 2560 by 1440 pixels and has adjustable field of view with the widest at 160 degrees and records at 24 frames per second. Let's check out the video and audio quality. So this is the video and audio quality of the Ring Spotlight Cam battery version. So this is the video clarity test for the Ring Spotlight Cam battery version. And this is at uh, 10 feet. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So this is the running man set. And uh, as you can see, um, the spotlight cam battery uh, video quality is really bad. But I know last year, sometime last year around September, uh, Ring has improved the video quality of their wired cameras. And including this, this is a spotlight cam, a wired or plugged in version. And this is actually older than my Ring spotlight cam battery. But it has a more vivid and better video quality as you can see so this is the video and audio quality of the Arlo Pro 3 uh, flat light cam and this is what it looks like so 
so this is the video polarity test for the Arlo Pro 3 flood light cam and this is at 10 feet 15 20 25 So this is the video quality of the ring spotlight cam, very version, and at night and with the spotlights on, and this is at 10 feet, 15, 20, 25, 30. So this is the video quality of the spotlight cam wired version and this is with the spotlights on and at night and this is what it looks like and it should have a better video quality as compared to the battery version. So this is the video quality of the Arlo floodlight at night and with the uh, uh, floodlight on. And this is at 10 feet, 15, 20, 25, 30. As to lights, as they are light cameras after all, the Arlo floodlight has a soft white light 3000 Kelvin temperature floodlight that lights up at 2000 lumens on battery. And when plugged in using an outdoor power adapter, magnetic cable, it can go up to 3000 lumens. As to the ring spotlight, it has a wider 4000 Kelvin light and is 700 lumens bright. Both cameras uses a PIR motion sensor and records when it detects motion and records the footage to the cloud. To access recorded footage, you need to be subscribed. With Ring, it starts at $3 a month or $30 a year per camera. Or they have the Plus plan which is $10 per month or $100 a year for unlimited Ring cameras in one address for 60-day video history. And this also includes their professional alarm monitoring if you have their Ring alarm. With Arlo, they have the Premiere plan which is up to 2K quality which is what the camera can do, and costs $3 per month per camera, or $10 a month for up to 5 cameras for 30-day video history. So we are going to test the uh, motion alert notification speeds between the uh, Ring Spotlight Cam, a uh, battery version, and also the new Arlo Pro 3 floodlight cam. The uh, Arlo Pro 3 has uh, person detection, and the ring floodlight cam at this uh, test will be no person that he has actually a person detection also but i turned it off so let's see how fast it is then uh, we will try the second test will be with the rings uh, person detection turned on it is 148 and i'm on my lte connection so let's check it out I got the notification for ring already and let's wait for the Arlo the ring has always been almost instant and now we got the Arlo when you click on the ring it depends on how how soon you click the notification it will usually go to live view first but in the next uh, few minutes, I guess, it will go to the recorded uh, message. Recorded message. To the recorded footage. Alright. And with the Arlo, as you can see, with the Arlo, you just click and hold and you will see a thumbnail. Which uh, you can mute the notifications, activate the siren, call a friend, and also click this little... Uh, play button right here and then it will go to live view 
right there. But uh, what I found out that you have no option to, to do uh, uh, to start two-way talk in this screen. You have to go to their app. Whoa. I got a notification again. So we will test again the uh, well actually this is more of a cool off period test and uh, I got the, the Arlo got triggered again earlier while I was finishing up the first test but it's 150 and let's check it out again both of these actually has less than a minute uh, cool off see the ring I got the ring already that quick turn it on and then we'll just wait for the Arlo see that the, the ring also loads up in the app pretty quick and we got the Arlo so less than a minute notification uh, cool off less than a minute cool off on both of them so we are going to test the motion alert notification speed between these two cameras the Arlo Pro 3 floodlight cam and the ring spotlight cam battery and both uh, person detection uh, on both systems are turned on so I know that Ring stated that if the, their personal detection is turned on, that uh, it has um, probably a delay in notification. So it's 2.12 and I'm on my LTE connection. So let's check it out. I still got the Ring pretty quick. I'll wait for the Arlo. Let me see here. There you go. I got the Arlo. And I'll just show you guys. So as you can see, the Arlo motion, the person detected on the Arlo floodlight. And also in the ring, there's a person at your spotlight cam battery. So ring is still a bit faster. So let's test the maximum detection distance between these two cameras. The Arlo Pro 3 floodlight cam and the spotlight cam battery version. Uh, both of them uses uh, a PIR uh, motion sensing or motion sensor so mostly the maximum detection will be around 30 feet so let's start there I'm gonna go wide 30 feet uh, spotlight cam battery detected me and let's just wait for the Arlo here and I got detected in Arlo too at 30 feet Cool. This is the audio quality of the Ring Spotlight Cap battery version. This is the audio quality coming out from the Arlo Pro 3 Floodlight Cap. Show me spotlight cam battery. Okay. Then you can use two-way talk. But you'll not be able to turn on the spotlights. Turn on spotlight cam battery. Turn on is not supported currently. But you can ask to show the camera. Try saying show spotlight cam. And as you know, Ring is owned by Amazon and Amazon has Alex A. And that is why Ring can only work with Alex A reliably. Show me the Arlo floodlight. Okay. See no two-way audio and uh, you will not be able to turn on the floodlight. Turn on Arlo floodlight. Turn on is not supported currently, but you can ask to show the camera. Try saying show Arlo floodlight. Stream Arlo floodlight in Google Hub. Got it. Streaming Arlo Floodlight on Google Hub.
and in here you'll be able to turn on the floodlights. Turn on Arlo floodlight. Alright, turning on Arlo floodlight. But there's no two-way audio or two-way talk. So what do you think guys? Anyways, here are my thoughts. As you can see in the video quality, Arlo is way better than the older ring. With this comparison testing, I appreciate the 2K video quality of the Arlo. It is high time for Ring to get into at least 2K resolution cameras. As to Ring, they have updated their video coloring of their wired cameras and I'm not sure why they haven't done it or if they're planning to do it with their battery cameras. I'm also not sure if they have updated the lens and the hardware of their newer spotlight cams or they have better video quality. Comment down below if you have a newer spotlight cam battery version that has way better video quality than I have shown here. If yes, I might need to contact Ring just to verify and probably get an updated version if they did improve it hardware-wise with their latest battery spotlights. This leads us to my Amazon gift card giveaway. You don't have to have a 2K resolution to have a decent video quality on a Wi-Fi camera. So I have this footage taken from this outdoor Wi-Fi camera and this is in 1080p Full HD and records in 25 frames per second. By the way, this is plugged in. If you know what brand and model of this camera, comment down below and first one to comment the correct answer will get a $25 Amazon e gift card. One person, one guess, no multiple guesses, and no editing of comments. And good luck. As to battery life, I'm getting 2 to 3 months per battery and up to 6 months for my 2 battery setup with my Ring Spotlight Cam. Remember, it doesn't get triggered a lot. As to my Arlo Floodlight, 1.5 weeks that I have owned it and I'm now 88%. So about 1% per day, so the battery might last 2.5 to 3 months. We will see though. As to app experience and loading up of the cameras, Ring is still faster than Arlo's. The only consistency I can see with the Arlo's is their 7 to 8 second opening up of the camera to live view. 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 7. Plus, they have about 4 second lag time. Ring has been more responsive lately and camera opening on live view is within 3 to 4 seconds. And I've shown you earlier how fast it opens up in live view when you respond to the notification. There is some lag with Ring but not long enough for me to complain. Lastly, as to pricing, both of these cameras are just way too expensive as to what they are. You're paying a premium for them to be battery powered and ease and flexibility in installation. Anyways, any questions? Comment down below. Thanks for watching and I hope you liked this video. Please share and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. And click the bell icon so as to get notified when I upload comparison videos like this video, product reviews, product updates, and long-term reviews. Thank you.